Hey Academy students, how you doing? We're back with another episode of Multiplication and Division Number Stories. Uh, so when we check out problems such as this one here, it says nine boxes of colored pencils, eight colored pencils in a box. How many more, or how many colored pencils in all? Um, and we've talked in class about how you can use counters to help your thinking. So if I were to take out my nine boxes of colored pencils, and I'm thinking to myself, well, there's eight boxes, or sorry, eight crayon or colored pencils per box. This is where I'm going to start seeing that I'm taking eight times nine. And so there's my number model, eight times nine. I've pulled out the important numbers. Now be careful, recognize that sometimes number stories include numbers you might not need. So sometimes doing those counters can help you think through what are the numbers I really need. In this problem, we just need a nine and eight. And you should have realized you need 72 pencils. Uh, give this problem a try. Uh, you can ignore the marbles over here as far as counters. It's just a picture of marbles. But press pause. See if you can recognize the important numbers and how many marbles in all. I'm assuming you press play again. So now let's go on to a bigger problem where we're working with bigger numbers. So here we're working with Mo. Mo is buying cupcakes for all the kids in his grade. He needs to buy 110 cupcakes. They come in packages of six, because you know when you've gone to Jerry's, you've seen those little plastic things that are full of cupcakes, but they only come with so many. So they're packages of six. How many packages should he buy? So I'm starting to think of like my counters here, and each one of those counters is worth is worth six. And to go with nice, easy numbers for my thinking, just think like, what if I took, you know, let's say five sixes here. That's worth 30. Well, if that means five sixes are going to be worth 30, if I take 10 sixes, that's definitely worth six. I'm getting closer to my number of cupcakes I need. So let me keep going up by fives. And notice my counters are helping me keep track of all the cupcakes I have. So remember these five packages of six, that's worth 30, 60, 90, we're getting close. Let's see if we can do another one. Let's see, let me think. 30, 60, 90, ooh, 120. I'm not going to need 120, so what I can do is start removing some. So if I take 6 away from 120, um, sorry, I think I might have said it. But this, you know, if I had 20 packages, that would be 120. But this time let's start taking away. Take away 6. So I think that's down to 114. Well, let's take more. 108. Hmm. I need to at least get um, 110. So 108, that's not going to cut it. So let me put that package back in, and I'm going to need 19 packages. But check this out. If I buy this many, I get, you know, 114. Will I have enough to cover 110? Yes, I'll just have a couple left over. So you're not going to exactly get 110. Keep that in mind. So try out this next problem. Tara is buying some burgers. What numbers are important to use? How could you use counters to help keep track of all those uh, burgers or hamburger buns you're going to need? So press pause, read the problem, and give it a try. 